Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you Cupcake my Jill because he didn't get a very good look at him last time. So, um, yeah, so then I'll be doing a video on that and I'll also tell you how to tame him. If you'd like to see me um, do, well, I'm just going to do another video, I don't care if you like to do or not, but I'm going to do another video after this. So please like and subscribe if you would like more pet videos because I have, um, one second, no, you just can't. I have 11 pets, so let's get into the video. I think I have 11. I don't know, maybe more. But yeah, so just let's get into the video quick. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, so this is Cupcake here, and he will just sit in my hand like this. He'll run around a bit because gerbils love to explore. Look at this. Oh, Little Mermaid. Oh my gosh. Oh, he loves to do that so much. Oh, sorry, it's just proper like a little mermaid. But you know, um, YOLO. <sighs> I'm sorry, it's just I love him. But he's really nice. And by the way, how I tamed him, I got him like almost like well, at least t twice a week. I got him in the bathtub. Well, I didn't put any water in it or anything. I just put him in the bath um, and put a towel down and put put a few toys in there. Let him run around for like um like a minute in there, and then I got him with him, and knelt down and let him crawl all over me, and then then he got used to me, and then he started to let me handle him like this, and yeah, so I'm gonna talk more about this when I put this little baby back. By the way, if they bite you first, don't be put off by that because it's just a taste bite, and they might carry on doing it, but. It's fine, it's just a taste bite, they, they don't mean anything, but if you're holding them loads and then they bite you, then that's a warning to put them back, before the blood spills. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, um, so here's Cupcake, he's never bit me, but, you know, there, so there's Cupcake, I'll put him back now, but I got him from Pets at Home, but I would not recommend getting him from Pets at Home, okay, so, he's really good, so, yeah, just carry on watching. Right, okay, so I'm just gonna carry on. Just I'm just gonna get into the next piece. Okay. So, um, like first step I did was I when you first get your gerbil, you've got to let them go in your cage, leaving them in the cage for like two to four days, two to five, five or four, until you can start like sticking your hands in the cage. You can stick your hand. You don't before you hold them and things. I wouldn't hold them straight away because that can scare them. You don't want to scare them. That's the tip. You don't want to scare them. So just at first get to, um, some treats either on your hand like this. But I didn't. I never liked doing that because um, like sometimes they missed my hand because they thought, "Oh, the hand smells like food. Let's eat the hand." So no, I don't want to. Don't want them to do that. So. Yeah, I've just handed them like that. You can hand it through the cage first and then you can start doing it, sticking your hand in the cage. He's not fully tamed, but he's quite tamed. He lets me hold him and he, he just gets a bit like worried after a while and get bored because gerbils don't like staying in one place. It's like, yeah, so where's that? Okay, so, so first what you'll need to do is get your gerbil and put him, what well, him or her, whatever, just to get, like, get your bath set up, put a, a towel down, like, on the bottom, like, um, you just put a towel down, then put uh, a, um, a toy, like, or a hideaway, um, because they like that, but not very big, because you need to get in the bath too. After leaving them in there for, like, a minute, a minute, like, just a minute that's like the maximum minute just 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 you can get in there after a minute and then what you need to do is just gerbils in the bathtub that we just try not to stand on it him or her whatever just try not to stand on the gerbil step in the bath and then you can stand there for a while if you want if you're a bit nervous to sit down but i would recommend just kneeling down like you could either kneel down like this 
or you could sit down with your legs crossed. I'll tell you what happened. But when you have your legs crossed, the gerbils like to um, go through there, and then they come through into here. They can go out there and they go there. And by the way, watch like if you have your knees up like that and you don't fit into that up. If you have your knees up like that, then the gerbil can climb up and then jump out of the bath and you don't want that to happen so there's that mm, yeah but like oh gosh um <clears throat> so uh, mm, yeah you don't want to jump out the bath because if it jumps out the bath then it escapes okay okay so there's like a tip and then just sit in the bath and after a while let it get used to it used to you first and then just let it crawl around you you can also sit like this the legs out which i sat like first and that's better for me because i like i got worried when he like crawled through my legs and things you can still get through your legs a bit but you know just um it's better if you're too if you're a bit like like worried at first that's the best position to fit in. This is the second best position. But gerbils have to go through the legs and throughout the back. And I didn't like that. And I feel, feel like snivelling my toes sometimes. So, yeah, maybe you should put socks on. You don't have to, but this, that's an option. Just an option out there. Just, just, just throw an option out there for people who just, you know, want to. Just, just, okay. Okay, so, yeah. Look at him again, if you want to. I'll have a look. Might not be able to catch him because he's a bit late and he's trying to get to sleep with a little buddy, Cuddles. I can't catch Cuddles. I haven't tamed him. I kind of focused on Cupcake and then it was a bit too late to tame Cuddles. But he likes his treat through the cave, treats through the cage, but he just won't get any further than that. Okay. Okay. By the way, with your gerbils, you've got to, like, when you pick them, make sure they're healthy, like, check their noses, because mine came with a nose infection. He got a fungus infection. It came with a fungus infection. Then my other gerbil got it. So then we had to take him to the vet to get medicine. And then it cost, like, loads of money. And then he said, oh, I'll just bring him back if you guys would like. I'm like, it's still a bit bad, but I'm not taking him back. I'm not taking him back just for a little bit of medicine. But he, he turned out fine after. He got he got better. But now he's got a problem again. He pooed a couple of days ago and it was like red. I don't know whether that was just a one off though. Yeah, you need to watch out for poo as well. Okay. So um the poo's just like normal black poo. The balls. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, do you know what? I had my gerbil on my bed with it, with me, and ah, uh, he did a poo, and it was diarrhea on my bed. Oh, I don't even want to talk about it now, okay? So that was disgusting. And by the way, if you're asking, if you want to ask me about bedding. people are like, oh, let's go out and spend loads of money. Let's get sawdust. Oh my gosh. My gerbil, like, needs comfy things. Oh, look, that looks good. I'll have fun to sleep in that snuggly thing. No, don't. Um, it's just cheapest, just better. My gerbils really love this. Just, you know how you get them little shredders, yeah, for your house or whatever. Just get, just, if you have a shredder, just the paper instead of chucking it in a bin. Why not let the gerbils have it and then chuck it in the bin? Because they love chewing it up. They love it. They just love it. My gerbils love that paper so much. Oh my gosh, they're burying around in it with it in its mouth now. And they just love moving it around and things. They enjoy chewing on that paper. Yeah. If I put like the, some wood in or anything, then they chew paper. And by the way, when you get, when like, 
for Christmas, you're like, oh my god, let's get my dribbles, like, this massive chew toy. Oh no, yeah, I'm limited on money. I don't know, what am I going to do? Oh yeah, oh, what should I do? Oh, I can't go over £2. Let's just buy him this cheap little wooden ball toy. Don't, because... Do you know what gerbils prefer, which is way cheaper than that and way like less expensive. And you have them around your house, I'm sure, unless you do not go to the toilet. Use a toilet roll tube. That is the best thing ever. They can crawl through it, they can chew it, they love it so much. Just get them that. And you could also need to get some some hideaways though, so that is recommended. Um Yeah. But yeah. I wouldn't recommend getting like I've got this cage from Pets at Home and no, it's not very good. Well, it's okay. I just don't like the way it's set out because I can't get to jails for for it, and it's really hard to set up. The things don't fit. Like what? What the heck is the point of making a making a cage when the things parts don't fit together? What? 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 What the heck? Like, it's stupid, isn't it? But, like, yeah. So that's what that's like. That, that was a shame. But it, I've still got it. It's just um, not... It's just the platforms are wonky. And you can't fit any toys in there. And if you know what? Oh, the wheel. I've got my gerbils a wheel. They will not use it. They just can't understand how it works. It, so, and it won't fit in the cage for them to get used to. That's a problem. But I like every Saturday, I let them have like a playtime moment. I, I like put them in the bathtub and leave them in there for like half an hour. And then, and yeah, playtime. Because I put them all these toys in there and they enjoy just running around. I give them a bit of bedding in there as well. And I just ch just chuck everything back in the cage. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just pick the towel up that I put them on her and then just lob. Just don't lob it. Please don't lob it. But I just put it back in the cage. Oh, okay, so now I've got to do a tip of handling your dribble. Okay, so you just want me handling my dribble. Don't hold it. You know how I were like I picked the dribble up and then I did that. Do not do that. Sorry. I never meant to do that. Sometimes cupcake just wriggles into position like that and it's not good. Um but it's not bad, but it's not good. That's just not the way you should hold them. When you pick, the, pick them up, here's like a recommended thing. This would be good. It wouldn't hurt them or anything. It wouldn't startle them too much either. But I can't catch my gerbils like this because they're good at running away. So just get your hands and just scoop them up from the front. Just like, let me see this technique I'm using right now. Um, just, just like put the dribbles there just scoop it up like that and then then your hand and then you can just like stroke things like that don't just it's not there anymore but like yeah so but um another great thing that i do to pick my dribble up is i hold i just grab the dribble like i kind of like don't get a dribble and don't do that because like that's what the predators do and then it'll get really scared to they're listening to like get really scared and then they will not trust you so you need to gain that trust back after all your work you have to gain it back <sighs> and then you have to start from the beginning so that's not very good well it depends what your gerbil's like Everyone's just like fussing and things but oh yeah you know just don't um, don't do that scoop it up like that or you just, you just scoop it up and then I just put it in one hand and then just I put my hand at the bottom and because my gerbil likes to stand up and I just support its belly like this and then I, I am grabbing it like this and it just stood there and like the little moment oh moments just you know things like that just like that I'm sorry I'm just being so like that Sorry, that was just weird, but that was weird. I'm sorry if you know me, but you've been scared for life. But that's my dribble and things, and that's how I tamed him, kind of. If you want to see more video on this, 